We're Carlo and Nikki, and we live in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road, but it overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what it's really like living year round on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. Do you ever get that feeling when you've been planning to go away for ages and ages? Maybe a vacation or you're moving to a new location. You can't wait to go and are so excited for this change to happen. But then, in the last few days before you have to leave, you suddenly feel settled and totally comfortable where you are. And you almost don't want to leave anymore. We've had to wait four months to get the keys to our new house and it has been a hard wait, seemingly never ending. But now, in the last few days left before we head to Tuscany, I feel a mix of excitement and regret, joy and fear, happiness and sadness. It's silly really as we'll be coming back to Positano soon and often we'll be dividing our lives between the two places. We've spent those last four months organising what to take and what to leave behind. Dividing our wardrobes, my makeup, Carlo's tools and random things, anything we have two of. We're not taking any furniture, of course. Can you imagine carrying furniture up 500 steps? In England with Dad, we packed up six boxes of kitchenware and household items, a bicycle and two chairs, which will all be arriving by van in a week or two. We have slowly started to carry bags of belongings up to the car. Every day when we take the dogs out for a walk, we take something up with us. Slowly but surely, the car is filling up. Everything was going very smoothly until exactly a week before we were meant to leave, this happened. It's an absolutely beautiful day today. We're going to the beach. So as we were walking down, I took a tumble, so I, I fell down the steps. There was a step that had a pothole in it and it was covered in leaves and it was a really deep pothole, so I totally didn't know it was there. And I put my foot in it and I went flying and I, I don't know whether I've twisted my ankle or something, but it hurts and I've staggered all the way down here and I'm sitting here and it's hurting and now I'm wondering how I'm going to get back up because it's about 400 steps up to the road from here and then I've got another nearly 500 steps to get from the road back to my house so I'm hoping that I haven't twisted or sprained my ankle and I'm hoping that the pain will die down in the next few hours while we sit here otherwise we're going to have problems <laughs> and yeah people ask often do we fall down the steps so like literally this is the first time I've fallen down the steps in about 10 years and 10 years ago, I fell down the steps just because I was probably drunk and it was dark and I wasn't looking where I was going. So it doesn't happen very often and it's, people don't do it very often here, but today I did. I sat on the beach for a few hours. My foot was throbbing, but it hadn't swollen up or changed color. Maybe I was just being a wimp. A boat came in to drop somebody off and I should have asked them to give me a lift back to the main beach but I let the moment pass. Ma <laughs> sei diventata una vecchietta claudicante! Ok, adesso ne vado a cercare una. Sembri la Befana, ce l'hai il pacco con i doni lì dentro? <ride> Dio mio.
as the sun was starting to set, we decided to head back up again. This is when I realized that I probably twisted or sprained my foot and shouldn't really be walking on it. I had 420 steps up to the road and of course the 500 steps home. It took us nearly two hours. After that, my foot did swell up and turn blue with bruises. I stayed home for six days and luckily with a lot of rest, it healed quickly and we decided that we could depart for Tuscany on schedule. Riusciremo a mettere tutte queste cose lì dentro? Io ero brava a giocare il Tetris Basically what we're doing is we've divided everything we've got at home, everything we've got two of, we're, we're dividing. So we're taking like one salad bowl here, one salad bowl there, half of our clothes here, half of our clothes there. Um, and then just various bits and bobs that we'll need and things that I don't want to be without. Wow, ce l'hai fatta. Well, we've got another three bags to bring. Oh, dove li mettiamo? Sul bag. tetto? <laughs> <laughs> li, li leghiamo con una funda sul tetto, dai, <laughs> l'altro drum. Li mettiamo qui da qualche parte, dai. We picked this little restaurant just off Google Maps. It had good reviews and it was very close to the motorway, which is just over there. And it was really good. It was really lovely, cheap, didn't cost much at all. The food was great, um, very, very convenient. And there were lots of people there as well. Lots and lots of dogs outside. Hello. <laughs> now it's time to get back on the road. So if you're driving between Tuscany and the Amalfi Coast, this is a good stop off or even Tuscany and Pompeii or somewhere. This is pretty much halfway mark. It's called Ristorante Le Primerie. Le Primerie. Le Primere. Primere. I'll leave it in the description box below. Siamo arrivati. Siamo a casa di Maria e Lorenzo a Vigo Pisano, nella Tupisa, e rimarremo qualche giorno qui per esplorare ancora. È bello venire qui, ci sentiamo come. A casa adesso. So yeah, we've stayed here so many times now that it feels like second home. It's such a lovely apartment and you can rent this out. It's Casa Colomba. I'll leave the details in the description box below and I've shown it before at least twice <laughs> because we end up coming here every January normally driving back from England but this year we are driving up from Positano. So let's quickly show you around. So there's the office area there where Carla was and then this is the living area. Come through to the bedroom. It's a really high bed, <laughs> which is great because it means that Holly can't jump up. So we get the whole bed for ourselves. Sì, niente letto preparato. In effetti, stavamo dormendo prima, yeah. no? Yeah, and then and through to the kitchen. It's a cozy little kitchen here. It's lovely and warm in here at the moment. And then here we've got like this sun summer room, which is the, the old medieval tower. And this is, there's no glass on the windows here, so 
this is great in the summer. Not so great in the winter because it's a little bit chilly, but in the summer, oh, just lovely just lying here. And you've got the view of the fields out there. And yeah, that's it. Anyhow, we are gonna go down and see Maria and Lorenzo who are down below us. So I know a lot of you already follow Marie on Instagram. Her Instagram is called Authentic Tuscany and that's really perfect for her because Vico Pisano is not on the general tourist trail but it's in a great location. So we're like 25 minutes from Pisa. You've got the coastline, the Marina di Pisa and Livorno is all very, very close. Pisa airport's very close. And we are in the middle of Tuscany. Vico Pisano is great for markets. It's got a beautiful, amazing antiques market. And I can't remember how often that is. I think it's every other Sunday of the month or something, but it's a really good one. And people come from miles around to go to it. It's, it's a very untouristy, authentic area. Um, there's lots of wine tasting here. There's lots of olive groves, uh, lots of things to do. And Marie organizes all sorts of things as well. So if you want a bit of help organizing your trip to Tuscany, Marie's really good at that. So I highly recommend getting in touch with them if you want the authentic experience while you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Maria and Lorenzo have brought us to this um, second-hand store. It's like a big warehouse full of second-hand things. We've just walked in. Ooh. We're just really having a look at the moment because I don't know measurements and sizes and anything. And that costs 380. Just come into another room. It's got some, I haven't even looked yet. So we're doing this for the first time together. This desk is reduced to 90 euro. It could be a good makeup desk in the bedroom and work desk. La sedia della nonna. So we've checked and the rocking chair has been sold and so has the desk that I saw that I like. So we've come to another place here. Let's see what they've got in this one. <laughs> We've all separated and we're all calling each other because we're all finding things that we like. But it's so crammed in here. That's sweet. Hey Holly, let's go and see what's up here. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. So if you need a chair, <laughs> this is the place to come. That's interesting. I love these old wardrobes, but I think that's a little bit too big. So we've just jumped back in the car because we've had a call from the ex-owners of the house 
and they said they're there at the moment and we can go around and empty our car so we're getting to go to the house for the first time and leave some stuff there very very exciting okay, we are back in our car now because we were with Maria and Lorenzo before so we had to dash back to theirs jump in the car and we're now on our way to go and drop off the first carload of stuff yeah I mean really if you count it, we've only, I reckon we've only spent about 10 minutes in the house in total. Um, the first time we went to visit, which was a quite a quick sort of like walk around and out again. And then the second time, which we spent most of the time outside. So we really haven't spent much time in there. So very, very curious to get back in. And it's only gonna be a quick visit now. We're only really dumping some stuff. But this time next week, we will be in. No, 10 days, 10 days still. Yes, I'm going to go. Today is a bad day, it's raining, but it will be the first time we'll see the house under the snow. If you saw my last video where um, there was the little bit where I was in England and I bought the curtains way back in April, those curtains have been in the back of the car since August, since when we went to England in August. My we've dog. folded them along the back seat and the dogs are sitting on top of them. So they're gonna be really, really creased and squashed, but they need to come out of the car now. <laughs> Well, we're definitely moving out. <laughs> has got a lot of potential. It's quite a bit of work to do, but it's got potential. I'm gonna finally, after six months almost, take these curtains out of the car. Avranno preso la forma dei sedili, amore. Can't carry two. I'm going to take this one in and then I'll come back to the other one. Okay, back to Marie and Lorenzo for lunch. They'll leave the toys behind. So we thought we'd talk to you about our feelings after seeing the house uh, in the rain, with no furniture in it, upside down, dirty. Sì, sembrava un po' come abbiamo visto la casa nei nostri sogni quest'estate, poi questo inverno abbiamo visto qualcosa di molto diverso, più brutto era sporco e stavano facendo il trasloco e sembrava completamente diverso poi era freddo stava piovendo yeah it was a completely different experience and i think possibly i don't know i can't really judge but if i'd seen the house for the very first time like i saw it yesterday i probably wouldn't have put an offer in because <laughs> it's just so different it was quite disheartening to see it like that but i know that that was just how it is at the moment and it'll probably get worse before it gets better so it was yes it was a very strange experience and now I totally understand my brother who moved house a couple of years ago and the first week that he moved in he phoned me in a complete panic saying what have I done oh my god and it was it's, it's scary it's such a huge huge cost and such a huge lifestyle change that I understand that now that it can be quite a scary thing and 
uh, makes you think, what have I done? In realtà se andiamo più indietro nel tempo, Nick, abbiamo già fatto questo a casa nostra oltre dieci anni fa e abbiamo dovuto rinnovare tutto perché la casa era davvero messa male. Abbiamo anche fatto un video su questo, no? Yeah, sì. yeah. E quindi sappiamo già questa esperienza, ma adesso siamo molto più motivati, uh, anche se pensiamo che sarà una cosa completamente diversa perché questo posto è nuovo per noi, non sappiamo ancora niente. Sappiamo che ci sono delle belle persone perché ne abbiamo già incontrate qualcuno davvero davvero molto amichevole. So we still don't have the keys to the house. We hopefully will get them in about four days time and we're really looking forward to that. And the ex owners are now supposedly transferring the electricity, the water, water and the internet because that's important obviously. Yeah. So that will be in, in, in my name, hopefully at some point soon. And we've got lots to do. What's the first thing we're going to do? Uh, painting, I think. Yeah, probably... yeah, because the house is uh, empty. And uh, I, I think the best way is painting now. Yeah. And not after uh, put uh, um, something inside the home. Yeah, so we'll paint it first and we're going to go around lots more old um, second-hand furniture markets and see if we can find a few pieces to bring back. Questa è proprio una zona dove sembra che il mercato dell'usato, dei mobili usati è abbastanza grande, quindi yeah, yeah. qualcosa che a Positano non esiste. Yeah, almeno... on the Amalfi Coast, the rental area, there isn't really um, the... Se ci sono mobili dell'usato in, uh, nella nostra zona non lo no, so. No, no, they don't, they don't like that sort of thing there. So it's uh, been quite exciting to go around them all as we did the other day. But we're going to go and visit some more this afternoon. So we might show you a few things. And yesterday, actually, we were in a market in a town nearby and we picked up our first secondhand item from Italy. So we've actually bought a coat rack. <laughs> Nothing exciting. It was a coat rack. And it cost 10 euro with about... Ah, non hai contato quanto... Ma ah, eh, erano... Era... 8, 10, 8, 10 hooks on it, big! Sì. Apparently they're very traditional Tuscan hooks. So that was our first purchase and it was only 10 euro, so that was a good bargain. Came complete with cobwebs and dust. Sì, io penso che hai fatto un affare con quello. Yeah, 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 me too. So anyway, we're waiting for the um, markets to open at half past three and we're going to go and see what we can find. Sì, ci vediamo dopo al mercato. We've come into this second hand place. The first one we went to was closed because it's Monday apparently and lots of things are closed on a Monday. We've come into this other one. It is freezing in here. <laughs> ecco perché siamo col ciubotto. <laughs> but we found this sofa which seems to be in pretty good condition and there's another one there identical so there's two. In, and they're really comfortable. We've checked them out. Eighty euro. I suppose we have heard it. Tell it again. 80 euro. Wow. <laughs> That's a really good price. I think we're going to have to get them. Okay. Hear it again. Come on, let's see how comfortable it is. Okay. You take the scarf. No, because you have to know what it's like to fly in it. What's this? It's Yeah, they're comfortable. I can sleep on that. Ok, sicuro che ti piace. Il colore è, è ok per me. Yeah, Anzi, è proprio right. bello. Ok, quello è un proteggi cuscino lì. These are washable, you can take these off. Look, I've got a zip. Il these modo. Yeah, it's really comfortable. Ok. Sì. E lì non è rotto, no? Giusto, quello è solo un proteggi. Toglielo un attimo. Ah, ok. Perfetto. Ok, sono un po' sporco lì. Sì, yeah, ok. Bene, mi sembra un affare per 80 euro. Oh, sì. Yeah. Way way Ti like compriamo tutte e due o solo uno? Non lo so. Adesso beh, siamo sicuri che sono uguali. Aspetta. Sì, sono uguali. Fammi vedere. Ma ah, sono della giusta misura. Well, they're not big. They'll fit anywhere. But if one downstairs, one upstairs. 
that energy. So we just bought two sofas for us delivery, 160 euro. You cannot do better than that. It's such a bargain. Penso abbiamo fatto un affare. Beh, speriamo che sarà tutto così, così compriamo una casa per poco. Let's see what else we can find. <laughs> Arrediamo la casa per poco. So finally, we are making a start in Tuscany. We get the keys to the house in a couple of days' time. We can't wait. We're so excited. These four months have lasted forever, but finally, the time has arrived. So join us next week as we get the keys and see the house for the first time. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all your lovely, positive comments. See you next Sunday.